the Walt Disney Company surprises once again. The other day, the company's engineers demonstrated the collaboration of two cutting-edge robots, Robo Kiosk and a character from the cartoon movie Zootropolis. What lies behind the revolutionary artificial intelligence model for video generation Sora, presented by OpenAI Company? The number of robots in the world continues to grow steadily and has already exceeded 4 million units. The International Federation of Robotics explained how this number of robots can literally turn the world upside down and why the number of robots in the world will exceed 100 million in the near future, as well as Tesla's huge problems in the form of massively rusting Cybertrucks. These and other high-tech news in one video. Walt Disney Imagineering has demonstrated two robots working together the characters from the animated movie Zootropolis and Robo Kiosk. This is quite interesting as we rarely see such interactions outside of industrial settings where everything the robots do is strictly regulated. In other scenarios, robots are usually either on their own or paired with a human who can adjust to changing conditions. Disney engineers relied on the lightness and strength of the robots and taught them to adapt when there are inaccuracies in each other's movements. A character can lean on a motorized kiosk to create the illusion of pushing it around the stage. The kiosk then uses a winch to lift the character onto a platform where electromagnets help stabilize his legs. The result is a freely moving bipedal robot that moves naturally and doesn't require particularly complex controls or precision construction. It can jump around the kiosk, while the robot kiosk itself ensures that the robot gets to the right point on stage without incident. The system is designed in such a way that the movement of both robots is always coordinated. OpenAI has introduced a truly revolutionary video generation model called Sora. It allows users to create photorealistic videos lasting up to a minute based on textual cues. Sora is capable of creating complex scenes with multiple characters, intricate camera movements, and precise object and background details. The model understands how objects exist in the physical world and accurately interprets props and creates convincing characters with vivid emotions. The model can generate video from a still image, as well as fill in missing frames of an existing video or expand it. For example, Sora has generated historical footage of California during the gold rush, video from inside a Tokyo train, a cartoon dancing rabbit, and more. OpenAI has some important advantages over competitors like Google, who are also working in this area. Sora's sample videos stand out for their sharp resolution, smooth movements, accuracy of anatomy and physical world, and most importantly, their length, 60 seconds. For now, Sora is only available to so-called red teams who evaluate the model for potential harm and risks. OpenAI is also offering access to some artists, designers, and filmmakers for feedback. The International Federation of Robotics presented the top five global robotics trends for this year. The AFR also noted that the number of active robots worldwide has reached a new record of 3.9 million units in 2022. As far as trends are concerned, the first one is the way in which AI is being used in robotics and automation. In particular, robot manufacturers have begun to develop generative interfaces based on artificial intelligence, which allows users to program systems more intuitively using natural language instead of code. Experts predict that soon workers will no longer need specialized programming skills to select and adjust robot actions. Another example is the use of predictive AI to analyze robot performance data and predict robot maintenance. The second trend, cobots. Rapid advances in machine vision technology sensors and intelligent grippers allow robots to respond to changes in the environment in real time and thus work safely alongside humans. Cobots can help with tasks that require heavy lifting, repetitive movements, or working in hazardous environments. Cobots have also recently closed the labor shortage, for example in welding positions. The third trend is mobile manipulators for logistics, automotive, and aerospace industries. These are essentially the same cobots, but on wheels. Such machines can help in loading and unloading operations and automate the maintenance of other robots and machines. The fourth trend is digital twins to optimize the productivity of manufacturing facilities. Because the twin exists solely as a computer model, it can be stress-tested and modified without any safety implications while saving money. And only the fifth trend, AFR, named humanoid robots. Well, their progress has been covered many times in our previous videos. Nissan has announced a robot that entertains babies while the parent drives. Bot Iruyo is quite simple, but its functionality may be enough to interact with children, at least until the babies do not get bored. The robot can play simple games, and most importantly, judging by the video, can recognize the expression of the child's face and will not bother him if he falls asleep. Write your opinion about this robot in the comments. 
PAL Robotics has updated its robotic assistant Tiago. The new version of Tiago Pro has more dexterous and precise series elastic actuators arms, which are also quite long, as well as a more expressive face for human interaction. Also, the robot designed to assist medical personnel is now equipped with safety brakes in all joints of the arms. The developers claim increased efficiency and productivity due to improved machine learning algorithms. We are waiting for the first deployments to see what all this brings to the robot and its owners in reality. Tesla and its new Cybertruck have some serious problems. You already know that the mass production of pickup trucks started only a few months ago, and there are not very many owners of these cars yet. And despite their small number, some people have already started complaining that the car made of stainless steel began to rust. At all this pickup does not need to be drowned in the sea or tears of the owners themselves, it is enough ordinary rain. This problem was raised by users of the forum called CybertruckOwnersClub.com. A user of the site with the nickname Raxar started a thread with a complaint that soon after he received his new Cybertruck, the car was parked for two days in the rain, and it was enough to make small rust spots appear on the body. And that's the kind of rust many people complain about. Other owners have shared their stories too. Forum users decided to document this and bring it to Tesla's attention. And imagine what turned up. It turns out that the Cybertruck's owner's manual states right up front that the body panels of a car built with stainless steel can corrode under certain circumstances, and in our case, it's simple rain. However, while no vehicle is completely corrosion resistant, the rate at which Cybertruck owners have encountered rust doesn't bode well for the company. Once again, we return to OpenAI, which never ceases to amaze the world. The company is creating its own search engine that will end the hegemony of Google. In March 2023, a plugin for searching information on the internet appeared, and in September, OpenAI reported that ChatGPT has the ability to search the web for the latest information. But back then, the chatbot used Bing as its browser, Microsoft's search engine, which has long been trying unsuccessfully to catch up with Google Chrome. And so it turns out that now, OpenAI, with the support of Microsoft, is planning to take away Google's market share of search products. The new search engine will be partially powered by Bing, which is in line which coincides with Microsoft's plans to actively promote its AI-enabled products. This is a great opportunity for the company to win back some users from its main competitor. But Google is also not slumbering and is working on generative search with the help of AI and is going to introduce the Search Generative Experiences tool. However, a more revolutionary solution would be a completely new indexing system, which is what OpenAI is working on. We will be watching to see how events unfold and how this battle of the titans ends. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.